Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, today is Tuesday, May 8th. Um, this video is going to be for this past Saturday and yesterday on Monday. Uh, pretty busy weekend, no doubt. Uh, I had a pretty, bi pretty big project to take care of. And I had a lecture on Saturday for Interactive Audio. It went pretty good. Uh, it was about, uh, how do you say, implementation of of the sound for interactive stuff. And it was really what it came down to is the if-then statements. If this happens, then this happens. And I guess the, the pinnacle of the whole idea of the day was that... Um, there we go. I had to move my chair down is that we had to get in groups and pretend that we made a video game that was for miniature golf. And we had to come up with how would the miniature golf sounds be triggered. So, you know, we anyway, it was really detailed, too, and um, Mr. Pinsky was pretty impressed with our, with our whole class. He said that we definitely understand the concept of the implementation stuff. Uh, so that was that was really cool. Saturday, I mean, it was, you know, quick and dirty lecture, no problem. It was easy. I got home real quick, so it was it was okay. I mean, it was a typical lecture, you know. Uh, and then yesterday, Monday, actually, uh, let's see, Monday morning at nine o'clock, uh, the first homework assignment for interactive audio was due. Um, we had to create four sounds here at home for the Haunted House project, and we had to do sound design. And we had to come up with, let's see, um, I think it was, oh goodness, I know we had to come up with the sound for zombie hands coming out of the ground. We had to come up with uh, the sound of a an old coffin opening, so like rusty hinges and stuff. We had to come up with the sound for um, like mausoleum ambience. And then last, lastly, Oh, what was it we had to create? Um, goodness, I think it was like a rusty gate. No, it wasn't a rusty gate opening. It was something else. I really can't remember what it was. I guess I'll have to look it up real quick. Um, let's see. Homework. Finish sound. Zombie Muslim gra Gravestones. That's what it was. We had to come up with the sound of gravestones moving back and forth and moving off of their... I guess, or base or whatever, because the spirits are angry and they're moving stuff. So <laughs> we had to create those four sounds, and I, I got them all done on Sunday. I took my sweet time and just worked on them throughout the day, and, uh, you know, I had fun with it. So, I mean, Sunday was, it was a little stressful because, yeah, I had to get it done, but it was fun getting to play with that stuff, and uh, I turned it into Dropbox that night. We had to upload it to Dropbox website. And, uh, yeah, it went good. I'm still waiting for my grade, actually. I'm not sure what I got. Um, he hasn't graded mine yet, because I guess I'm at the end of the list. But uh, I am he said that he would be done with everything tomorrow. But we'll get there. Um, but that brings me to Monday afternoon, actually, because I got my interactive audio assignment turned in on time. And then I had another eight-hour day of public speaking, eight hours of it, uh, which really was more like six and a half hours of it, but still a long time for public speaking. And we went over a lot of information uh, yesterday, that is for sure. The biggest thing was we had um, one of the lab techs for public speaking, which public speaking doesn't have labs, so I was a little confused on that topic. But uh, anyway, uh, he came in. And he talked to us about Keynote, about how to use Apple's Keynote program. And with that, uh, a lot of the same concepts applied to or do apply to Microsoft PowerPoint. So we learned how to put on an effective uh, visual aid thing. Mm, excuse me, goodness. I just had a glass of water, burping it up or something. But uh, no, uh, yeah, so yesterday was really all about the visual aid aspect. So the PowerPoint, the what to put on the slides, what not to put on the slides. Uh, you know, lots of great stuff. And I took um, some pretty good notes yesterday. And I'm going to open them up right now, actually. And 
You know, I, I was looking around the classroom, and a lot of people are actually falling asleep. But I thought this stuff was pretty interesting, actually. So, yeah, um, one of the biggest points um, about designing a, a slideshow is that less is usually more, to keep it simple. So we um, discussed, well, why use a visual aid, you know, and it's to give a reference of what you're talking about, to keep the audience engaged, etc., uh, we discussed the design stage of it, and that's where the simplicity comes in. Less is usually more. Um, let's see. You definitely don't be afraid of having empty space on the slide. That's good. Um, and then we looked at uh, the top ten slide tips by Gar Reynolds. That's G-A-R-R-R-E-Y-N-O-L-D. Gar Reynolds. And he had a really cool video about making slideshows, PowerPoints, or keynotes of all things. And it was like all zen and medita meditative, meditative, meta. I don't know. It was really relaxing and calming the way the guy was explaining stuff. But his ten rules are one, keep it simple. Two, limit bullet points and text. Three, limit transitions and builds. Uh, four, Use high-quality graphics. Uh, five, have a visual theme and avoid templates. Six, uh, use appropriate charts. Seven, use color well. Eight, use good fonts. Nine, use audio or video only when appropriate. Uh, Ten, organize your information logically. And actually, an extra one, uh, number 11, is to use contrast in your slides so people can read the text. Uh, so those were the ten things that we, we focused on. And then my instructor gave us two more tips uh, about what she personally does not want us to do. And that is, one, definitely face the audience the whole time. Don't, like, turn around and pull one of these where you're, like, not looking at the audience. And lastly, don't stand sideways and talk. Like, don't pull one of these where you're kind of looking at the slideshow but then you're kind of facing the audience, but really you're facing the door. You know what I mean? So none of that either. Um, so yeah, it was it was a it was a pretty good lecture. And then we had time to actually go in. Well, I wouldn't really call it time because we were supposed to get with a group and discuss these things. But she got us thinking about our cultural diversity speech, and we got s we did our signups and everything. So I am number nine. I am the ninth presenter on Friday. And my topic is the urban subculture of parkour. So I'm going to be talking about parkour and all that. And I'm going to get it on video. I'm going to definitely get my speech on video. Hopefully it will go good. And uh, I guess I'll upload it for you guys and all that. Um, so, yeah, it should, uh, should be pretty good. I've been working on it today. I put in like a good two hours of work, which is actually not that much. And then... Um, I don't know. It was a good, boring, long lecture. <laughs> At the end of it, we had uh, time to do work on our group project, which my group actually got somewhere. We have an outline going, so that's good. And uh, we're presenting that on the last day. But for the most part, the main focus right now is, one, getting the uh, introduction speech over tomorrow, which is not worth any part of our grade. That's just to get us used to being up in front of the class and talking. And then Friday is the cultural diversity speech. So, <laughs> yeah, i got to get working on that. And i got to have time to practice it and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's going good so far. I've been busy, like usual, I suppose. My schedule this month is especially busy. Um, for the next 12 days in a row, well, basically s starting from yesterday all the way till Saturday, and then next Monday all the way till Saturday, I've got class um, starting every day at 1.15, which is pretty lame, but what can you do, I guess? Um, yeah, I don't know. For now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video, guys. I hope you're digging it. Uh, I'm busy <laughs> as I'm, I'm busy as any something that's busy. And uh, I'm tired. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. And...